Well, as promised, this is the long version of the virtual safety inspection uh, we had way back before we left Plymouth for the start of the Arc Plus. It's uh, an almost uncut version, but we have added some comments and extra clips just to help to explain. It's amazing just how much you need for peace of mind to cross an ocean. And that's before you consider sailing your boat, powering it and provisioning. So that's us ready for the virtual safety inspection for the Arc Plus. Got all our documents, life jackets, grab bags, AISs, all sorts of stuff that we need for that uh, for them to come on board. Well, virtually, <laughs> they do it by WhatsApp. And we've got flares. Yeah, so hopefully we're reasonably close to what they're looking for. So these are the contents of our grab bag. We would love to know what else is in yours. Why not give us a comment? Right, Rebel. Should be. Yeah, there we are. She's down there. Excellent. And we've, we have this mechanism for releasing it. The pin pulls out yeah. and the whole thing just falls over the stern. Well, apart from the line. And we'll give it. <laughs> So that's a life raft, and the other things we've got are two horseshoes. They don't have reflective uh, tape on them. Yeah. They are new. Okay, so I've, got some, I've got some on board. I can put that on. Yeah, I'm surprised actually they don't come with that. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is, but it's yachts, isn't it? Everything is an added Ah, <laughs> yes, of course. So the other things we have here on the stern, safety wise, John um, Boy. John Boy. So that's secured oh, to the Where's rail. The next service pay due on that? that is due 24. on 24 on the 6th. So we had that service recently. Brilliant. We have, um, I don't think these are on the safety, but we have a, an orca uh, repellent uh, pole. <laughs> so we're going down. Uh, we're going down Orca Alley, so we've just designed that and we've dangled it over the stern and hit it with a big hammer. That should be okay. <laughs> Got last line. Uh, Stay away from the Orca, you know what these friendly cuddly dolphins are like. Yeah, it's, uh, so we've got a, a boy on this side, Dan boy on this side, which is strapped in with yeah. line on it and a flag somewhere up the top. Yeah, it's going yeah, around. That, that's a life yep. sling I see there as well. We've got a life sling here and uh, um, barbecue. That's not much interest here. Do you want to go around the handrails and have a look at those? Anything else at the stern? Yeah, have a quick look um, the only other two, yeah. two buckets with lines on them. Yeah. Um, what else we've got at the stern? Obviously the dinghy. We have a retrieval line, so for MOB, but there's that one, and there's also one in the in a locker there for pulling somebody on board. You know, extra. But we have electric winches, so. That makes life a bit easier. Oh, that's good. Have you got a dedicated throwing heaving line? Yeah, it's in the cockpit, I'll show you that. So the life lifelines at the back here are solid on the top and then we have um, yeah. uh, wire ones underneath. That goes as far as the gate. So, I'll show you. so these are all pretty solid. There's not much movement in these. They're bolted on and they've got um, you know, a, a locking nuts on the back of them. So the gate, the gate is uh, these Pelican fittings, yeah. and then we're up into So this is all wire. So this is just chafe protection for the Jenny seat. Yeah. This is oh, yeah, solid. Like um, so the stances are all pretty solid. They're all bolted in. We have shiny. I'm not sure this. We have shiny new bottle screws. We've got completely new rigging now. went in this morning so the bike guys have just left uh, so again so everything up here is at the end of the lifelines I've got shackles and they're all seized uh, on with um, so that runs the full length of the deck to the stern and once we're once the rig we'll just have that uh, on the deck up here that's good. Can you just turn around and point the camera at the mask because you're on the bow? 
Okay. So the radar. There's a blipper up the top there. Yeah, I can see that. That's perfect. Yeah, and you've got some radar as well. Yeah, I'm good. good. Yeah. So the other side so, is um, track stairs, and then the same way. Yeah. Uh, the rails are all solid, they're all full-thrust, they're bolted connected at the bottom. So. Two cans all empty at the moment, I'll have to spend a fortune on those shortly, fill them up. And same deal this side, so it's Pelicans. And yeah. I've been around all the rings just yesterday, and I'm missing, they kind of pulled out. But they're all good. Yeah, so they're all, all ring safety uh, nuts on this, and then I think we're back to the stern. So I'm not sure what else you want to have a look at here. Um, emergency tiller. Emergency tiller, yeah. So the emergency tiller goes is here. I've got it out on deck for you. So it goes in the lazarette. That's the that tiller bit, and that's the bit that goes down below deck, and then the cap. The cap I had off and it came off pretty easily. Is it, this is under there. That's the main thing, yeah. Been down in there and I checked that it went into the. I didn't actually set the whole thing up, but I, I put the end of the shaft and, and checked that that went into the end of the, the rudder stop. So that's okay. Um, What's that? Yes, it's a bit sad at the moment. Mary keeps a <laughs> herb garden, but it's, um, it's died back. Mint, battle and uh, chives. Yeah, so we've got chives. Uh, to me, that's the most important thing. I always like growing herbs and things yeah. like that, and perhaps, that's, other, even perhaps the tomato plant occasionally, so it's, important. That's three years old, that, so it's done okay. <laughs> it's done very well, though. Uh, anything you need to see, top size? Manual bilge pump in the cockpit. Manual bilge pump in the cockpit is under this little step here. Okay. Which is there. And the handle's there in that pocket. It's the handle onto the boat. It has a has a tie in it, but it's not actually tied on at the moment. You tie it to the D. You normally on the other tie side. it to the D on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, just tie it to the boat. That's great. Okay. And, and it's do you have a tricolour on the top of the mast? Yes, we do. For and and, uh, and nav lights on bow and stern. And we actually yeah. have a we have a spare bow light fitting. Um, because we've just changed it. We have to break okay, that. Okay, good. So and you can secure your washboard as we go down into the drive. Right. Okay. So uh, we want to pull the washboard out, Mary, for us. So that's the that's the top one. And it has a like a lanyard. The bottom one goes in, and then it comes down into this little jammer here. Yeah, perfect. That's yeah. upside down, but anyway, it's upside down, Mary. Is it? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I've only got and one the hand. Other, the other washboard which we have. Do you need to see these in? Does he? Do you want to see these in? No, I don't think so. No. It's this one which has a pump on it. So that's our downstairs uh, manual pump, uh, which goes back in the slot where Mary is there. And then we've, we've got I've got a length of hose which is sitting somewhere, just under it's under there. So that's the actual hose that would go down into the bilge. Yeah, no, very good. Very so, good. Um, you want to do paperwork, or do you want to do fire extinguishers and that sort of stuff? Um, let's do the fire extinguishers next, since you mentioned it. Fire blanket and extinguishers. I've got an extinguisher under there. One behind have, you. Uh, one, so this is the technical room, engine room thing. I've got one on the floor there that I just have walk, walking around. I've got one on here. And then I have a fire stick under here, which I think oh, are quite good. good, good. Um, I love those fire sticks. They're brilliant. <laughs> Well, we've never used one, but we've seen a video of them being used, and we're quite impressed. I just wish yeah, we were. I've used them on motorcycle fires in the open air, and they are superb. Absolutely right. superb. 
Yeah, I saw a video of a guy with a, a car on fire and he just threw it under the engine hood yeah. and the fire went out. So there's one there, there's one What's in up? this cabin. I think every every cabin's got a fire. Round to the left on that one. Got extra storage. And there's one up in the roof in the V berth at the front. And the kitchen. Oh, you've got plenty there. So we have, we have plenty. We have an automatic one in the engine bay as well. But one new galley. Uh, fire blankets. We have two. The stick. Both in the galley. Galley. There's one in there. Yeah. And then there's another one hanging up in that corner. And fire stick. And then we have another. Yeah. And we have another fire stick under there as well. Fire stick. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. So that kind of covers us here. And we've got one in our. Oh yeah, we have a, oh, you're probably getting a bit giddy. I <laughs> must get used oh, yeah, to this. I used to get, I took my tea sickness pills this morning. Oh, <laughs> there's one in here somewhere as well, but where is it? Behind the door. That's your end, behind your bag. Yeah, my bag, isn't it? Yeah, there it is, sorry. <laughs> there's that one. Okay, yeah. Right. Okay, and then we're back into the galley. The stove, we've right. just recently... Properly secured on the yeah. can't be lifted out. Can't be lifted yeah. out. We've actually got a combi here, so we have gas, gas underneath. This could be lifted off once I take these fixings out. Yeah. This comes off and then we've got gas, but we, all, we normally run on electric when we're in, in uh, uh, marinas. Microwave's secured in here. It's it, it's basically can't come out unless it comes up and out, out and it's secured yeah. with plates here. So that's the other heavy piece. Normally when we're on passage, we put... Um, Netting around here, which is something we're just in the process of doing. Um, uh, what do you do with your knives? I saw you're up there on a metal rack at the moment. They're, on, yeah, magnet. they're on a magnet rack at the moment. I think they need securing. Put those away in heavy weather. Yeah. You can put them in the drawer. They fit in the drawer. Yeah, yeah. They, they just yeah. go back in the drawer when, in heavy weather. But we normally put like a piece of net, met, mesh over there to keep all the uh, yeah. sources and stuff out of the way. Uh, gas alarms, we've got two, one there, and a carbon monoxide alarm. Um, yeah, and I see all your heavy objects, you're replacing your batteries, or what are you doing with those? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, our batteries have been out because... Tell me a story, tell me a story. The story is about a month ago, we came out of the water and found we had keel movement. So we've been, uh, we've been in the yard for the last three weeks, getting that sorted. So we had the keel off, keel bolts out, had some work done on the stub and then so all this had to come out so uh, that took me eight, eight hours to take out it's going to take me longer to put back in so the lithiums yeah. are going back in so we've got the four 800s and we have a whole bunch of uh, victron stuff that has to go back in yet so that's um yeah. that's my job for today oh, that will keep you busy it should keep <laughs> us busy yeah um what else can we show you in here uh, Eperb normally lives up in there, but I've got it on the table for you to look at. Um, okay, let's look at the Eperb since you mentioned it. So we've got two Eperbs. We have a, a brand new one that we've just coded and sent off. It's got our name on and has been registered. I'll show you that later. And then we have an older one which has also been. Okay, yeah. If we start with the one you've got in your hand there. That one, okay. Oh. And the hex number of that one is ID O C five one nine nine F eight F F B F F. Fantastic. What's the battery expiry date on that one? Can you see that? That's twenty nine. And the month I can't quite read it. Novem right. November. Okay, lovely. And it's marked with our name. And whatever yeah. else it needs, our Oyster 47 numbers on it. So that was done just recently. Yeah. And have you done a self test on it recently? Not for about three months, so I need to do that again. We'll do that. Oh, no, that's fine. If you've done it within three months, that's great. Um, the recommendation is always to do it um, before the start of an ocean passage or okay. something like that. But if you've done it in three months, that's good. Okay. Um, the, um, what's the expiry date of your new EPUB, please? So this one uh, gives us a... 
Assume it says something somewhere. September 2033. <laughs> that sounds good. That's it there. And again, the same applies. If you haven't done a self-test on it recently, do one before departure. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. We're assuming it's okay because it's brand new, so it's only about a week old. So. Oh, definitely do a self-test. All right. It. Okay. Do so it before you, before you leave Plymouth, then you know it's going to work. So that one, that one lives on that clip up in the corner there. Um, yeah. So that's the kind of boat one, and then we have the other one goes in the grab bag, on the end of the grab bag. Made the grab bag up yet? Yeah, the grab bag's all, all written on. Where round does that go? To put it back in later. That's in there. Okay, so that's away. Yeah, the grab bag and everything is here. Um, probably, that, so that lives on the end of that. Yeah. There. You want, right, so. Shall I go through stuff on the table and that we've got and you can tick off what you want? Yep, just talk, talk me through what you've got on the table. So we've got emergency aerial, yeah. which um, we've got two of those which string up. We have um, spare bulbs for torches and navigation equipment. That's in yeah. that pack. We've got spare canisters for the life jackets, arming kits. Got two of those. Yeah. I've got one on order. Um, I've got spare bulbs for now, so they're in, they're in there. And there's one spare there. We've got gloves. We've got masks, but we've got some on order from the supermarket at the moment. The uh, medical ones. Hand gel. Um, right. So we've got a searchlight and extension. Um, I'll pull that no, out of the bag. Give me the, give me the bag. All right, Mary, Mary will demonstrate. My glamorous assistant will demonstrate. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. To get there. We're both one-handed with cameras. <laughs> I know we've got. I know we've got to take these, but these actually are not as good as the battery torches. So we've got. This one's been yeah, in. Yeah, no, you've got the very. Yeah, I mean the only advantage of those old traditional ones is continuous use. Yeah. And so we have the risk of anything battery is the battery's always flat when you need it. Yeah, we have um, we have kind of three of these really bright ones yeah. uh, for deck deck use, and then this one it's a bit yellow actually. I must admit it's a brand new torch, but I wasn't that impressed. I, I, if I was looking for somebody, I'd definitely grab this one. But um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's surprising. I do quite a lot of search for rescue. The light doesn't have to be that powerful. Right. The advantage of the older style bulb is you have that background so you can pick things up in your peripheral. Right, okay. If you're using an LED light, it's got to be right in the beam of it. Like yeah. an oldest one, something like that. Okay, good point. Okay, so while you've got your, your sort of the documentation there. Right, so... We've got re ship's registration, <coughs> which is up to date yeah. at the moment, but we'll need to change it by the end of the year because it's out on 20, 24 December. Yeah. yeah, so that's next next year. Next year. Okay. Yeah, we're... Oh, that's all right then, yeah. Uh, oh, insurance. Yeah. So that runs out the end of this, or well, beginning of next month. So we're in conversation with them about that at the moment, but that's, that's the current yeah. one. And uh, they been talking as, to us about their biscay and all the rest of it. All uh, the rest of it, yeah. Yeah, they just want, it's... Um, money making. Money making uh, schemes, I think. <laughs> so, so then we've got a certificate for the John Boy service. So that was next full service is Brilliant. next year on that one. Um, this is the registration for the EPUB. So we have two, the two that you've seen and we also have yeah. one, uh, uh, one for Mary and one for me in our life jackets, as well as the AISs. Oh, okay. Are they the new MOB threes, or are they the personal four hundred sixes? Those are four hundred sixes, I think, because they're older ones that we had on the previous boat. But we've got okay. A yeah. AISs in the current ones, and then Beacon programming certificate for the new one. Yeah. Um, I've got. 
So this is under there. That's change of registration. So it's registrations for those, but that's covered by it's all online that stuff now. It seems to be don't give you much paperwork. That's the McBurdo, that's the battery change on that one. And that's the distress beacon registrations when they were first done for us. Okay. So what else is um in? light do you want to see in the life jackets? These have just been these are relatively new but they're um they've got the AISs in them. Um if you want to open that one up there. Oh, uh, save your, have you got the MOB ones in there? Yes. Yeah, don't, don't open it up, that's fine. Um, and you've got... you check the expiry lights of the dates and the arming kit on them? Yeah, the, uh, so that's MOB ones and then it's got this fast find, GPS fast finds. Yeah. The other side is uh, the rearm kits have just yeah. swapped those out. In this, in the uh, older oh, one. That's the spray hood up there. Yeah, don't open it all up. That's fine. That's fine. Spray hood, and then it goes around this side, and that's the arming kit with the the, yeah. the new. But they made those complicated to put together. Now, I did notice oh, that. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it can be tricky. They've got they've got the little sticky on thing that you have to put on now. Yeah. So those are, those have just been redone with new kits that I got last week. So we have. Four of those all made up with AIS is in two for crew. So these aren't um, these aren't named, but they uh, sorry these are named. These are our ones. So that's mine and Mary's and our vessel name. And the ones that are for crew have Akitas on them, but they're numbered. So it depends who which crew it is. We'll just put another label in there when we go with crew. This side so you can get yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. As long okay. as the boat names on it, then, boat, boat names on it. Okay, so then we have um, triple. So these are triple hook lines for deck work. Brilliant. So we have four of those. We also have single lines for cockpit uh, tie-ons. Yeah. Uh, and we have so then beyond that, we're into flares and stuff like that. Oh, we have a spare jacket, which is brand new. That doesn't have any AIS in it, it's just the life jacket. No, that's that's good. I prefer to see a, a spare life jacket as opposed to the rearming kit. Right. Um, I think that's, that's, that's worthwhile having. Yeah. So we've got a spare one of those. We've also got... So this is our, this is our grab suitcase. Okay. It's got too heavy to lift. It's got no, so it's much stuff in it. Heavy, but... So instead of having the flares in the life raft, in the in the grab bag, we have another set of ocean flares separate but attached to the bag. So they live with them. And then we have a separate set of, of uh, flares for the boat. Okay. So, that... so for your grab bag for the life raft. Yeah. Although it's very heavy, oh. I yeah. don't want you to empty everything. But you've got two P two thermal protective aids in there, at least. We have two thermal blank blanket. You mean? Is that is that what you mean? Yeah. 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 Hang on a second. I think we're oh, in yeah, the end yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I can see those. Yeah, yeah. Look, those are in the end of there. Um. Mary, Mary will. Put you've got a basic first aid kit in that grab bag. That was in that end, it's in it's in that package. Yeah, yeah. And you've got a lot of food and water in there. We have a spare drogue, which we've used for steering. We've got a yeah. secondary, we've got emergency chocolate, which is vital. Let's see. Now I've got, I've got a question for you. Why do we need two can openers? I could understand you what. Don't. You don't, you don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, we have got two, but I'd be... to the galley. You can have a new posh can opener in the galley. <laughs> okay, we've got. Um, we were actually at a safety survi sea survival course, and one of the things they suggested we had was a set of swim goggles. Yeah, that's not a bad. That's not a bad for thing. For somebody, to somebody to go to look out through the hatch with if there's spray. Yeah. We've got spare cut of work gloves for flares, flares and things. We've got. Uh, 
food packs, spare drug. We have yes. suntan lotion. Solar panel charger for phones. Excellent, that's what you need. Yeah. We've got um, suntan. Suntan lotion. No. I definitely need my suntan lotion and my glasses. We've also got Nivea um, chapstick things for one glue. for each person. Glow yeah. sticks. Nut, nut mix. We've got a, mer a lot, uh, quite a few emergency food packs. We have um, is that biscuits. Is it? We're going to have a water descent. We have What's a solar it? still. That apparently is a solar still. Believe it or not, I didn't know that. Uh, okay, I believe you. Yeah. As a bottle goes on one end and a bottle goes on the other, and okay. it filters as it. the water dribbles back from the book top bottle, it comes out this little hole. Mm, I, think. I want to know how you're going to keep that still in the life raft. I have no <laughs> idea, but we're getting um, we're getting a. Uh, desalinator. desalinator, one of the hand operated yeah. desalinators, so that's still to come. Uh, we've got a flashlight, which is good. So that's, that's all in the bag. We've got have this is kind of more radio type gear. So this is spare batteries that's got um, ICOM radio we also have a vsc emergency radio which is always on charge there so we grab that as we went out the door um, we have light sticks yeah we have oh, more more food there's there's the first aid kit in that in that one and there's also one on the outside yeah. we have a repair kit for the uh, dinghy of the life raft. Um, more gloves. That is what, Mary? You know what that one is? Oh, it's a travel towel. Oh, very, that's, that's probably one of your most vital things, actually. Two, two of them in there. I'm making him seasick. And then there's water and yeah. poly bags. And yeah. then in the side here, we've got spare bulbs for torches. There's, a, there's another light. A, ba a lithium powered light there from the life raft. Then in here, we have a knife. Plus, we've got we well, carry another knives. whistle. We each carry a knife as well. Uh, Earplugs, sea sickness <coughs> pills. Um, what's that one in there? Know, what's that chopstick or something? Is it? No, there is and. That is sun protect, some more sun protect for lips, lip balm, and I think that's about it. I'm going to grab bag. You must be making him so oh, seasick. Where you've got that signal, signal mirror. This is a special signal mirror. It's um, a fisherman's yeah. friends. <laughs> and we have a foghorn in here as well. The blow, the blow type one in the outer pocket. So okay, you're not allowed to put anything else in that grab bag, as you say, it's heavy enough as it is. Yeah, yeah. it is, yeah, yeah. Um, the more we uh, discovered, the more That's we put in the bag. on boat. Yeah, don't put any more in. No, I think, it's, uh, I think it's enough. I lifted it and I thought, this is going to be too heavy to get up the companion way, but if it's somebody small. Um, yeah, where are you going to keep it when you're on passage? It, it lives under here. Okay, in the saloon under the table, under, the, yeah. under the table yeah um so what else have we got here so there's two flare packs so yeah. something else we learned was that these don't actually float float when you open the top if you get them full of water they don't float so we have um put some cold noodles on the handles and we've also got them in the right in the bottom of the uh yeah. of this so we have so these are ocean packs they're all yeah. in date, so... Can you just show me the expiry date of one of the flares? 2024, see that one? Is that Excellent. Right? 24, is it? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, that's perfect. 24. Uh, I see you've got the gloves and the glasses, which is the essential things to go with it. Yeah, they need to go back in there. So we've got two of those, one's attached, as I said, to the grab bag, which is the flares for the grab bag. 
I've got goggles and gloves for that one. Right, so some advice from you. Getting rid of old flares. Yeah. It is a nightmare. We've just been on to Ocean Safety. They're two months behind. So we can't even I can't even oh. drop them off. So I, I don't know what it, I'll pack that. It's incredibly difficult at the moment. You have to uh, because you're about to leave. What I normally recommend is watch out for the local yacht clubs and marinas offering amnesty days but there's probably not one in plymouth before you depart yeah uh, the other one is a less successful but it's to go on to the rya website something called the green blue oh yes they list centers that accept um out-of-date flares right um Otherwise, it's uh, you've got your new flares. Otherwise, I would have recommended that you, wherever you buy your flares from, they have to take the old flares, although oh. they can charge you for that. Okay. Well, Mary's pointing out her um, new first aid kit. So we've got two first aid kits in there. And a burn kit. And a burn kit. And then and behind a burn that... Kit. I'm glad you've got a burn kit. Yep. Oh, and we then we've got the a two squares of... Squares of orange fabric. Put on the coach yeah. roof. Apparently, you need that. It's if you do if you're racing, yeah. But that, that's all right. But you're not racing. No. That's the main. No, no, that's good. for the helicopter, isn't it? Whatever. So, uh, yeah. anything else that we can show right. you? Um, I may have missed it. Did you show me a foghorn? Uh, th there's that one. Yeah, oh, you did show me that one. That's that's. Yeah. And. When you're sailing, you have a suitable safety knife located in the cockpit. Well, we we've all carry one. We all carry them. Yeah. And each of the life jackets has these safety safety knives on them. Yeah. Have you got a big crocodile Dundee style knife or a diving knife or something like that? We've got a fillet. Yeah, I have one here which is on the side oh, yeah. of the cockpit. Yeah. So that's that's what we were yeah, doing. That's what I, mean, right? yeah, that's a, exactly I think it's a safety one yeah. with with a hook on the end. Yeah, and it's got a nice serrated edge. Yeah. Really good. yeah, and yeah. we have uh, some first aid stuff hanging here. First aid kit. What else do we have? Binoculars. Peg Pegs. bag. The peg bag is very important. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's the stuff we have hanging around the hanging around the companionway. And um, what's your method of cutting your rigging away? Not that your master's going to fall down with your new... Right. <laughs> well, okay, it's not that bad. Yeah, so I have basically grind in here. So okay. I have a, I also have a... On the bottom, I don't think you can see it. There is a, um, a hacksaw as well with blades in a pack down there. I, I think the really? grind is the best way to get rid of these things. We've got a problem. It's the most popular one these days. Yeah. Have a great having a backup like a hacksaw. Yeah. So those are in the they're in the tool cupboard. I've shown you the pump. That grab. This is our grab bag, as you saw. We've got uh, sort of main body of it, and then there's two pockets on the outside. We've got um, EPIRB in one of the pockets. We have a fog horn, and just a manual blow. Then we have. Two torches, no spare bolts for those inside, and we also have under the bag is another pocket. We have course, a first aid kit in there. We have um, some fluorescent uh, lights that you crack open, a survival blanket, and then we have some lip salve as well, some Nivea lip salve. So inside the zip, oh, we can do it. We'll do a check while we're doing this. So normally when we're on passage we have copies of people's passports and things in plastic wraps so that we can uh, take those with us if we ever had a problem. There's a spare drogue for the um, dinghy, for the uh, life raft, which we can deploy. There is uh, two parcels here, these are uh, MRE, so they're I think they're military grade beef ravioli. There you go. I don't know how old these are but uh, they last for years apparently. Tin, which we keep 
our electronics in. So there's a spare radio with batteries in a tin. And I think there's a phone in there as well. Um, they're all packaged in a bit of uh, plastic to keep it dry with instructions. We have a can opener, in fact we have two can openers. I don't know why we need two, but we do have two in here somewhere. We have a little lantern, just an LED lantern, which is um, useful in if, once it gets dark. Some towels because I think it'll be pretty damp in the, in the uh, life raft. And Mary has a shiwi the boys are able to just go over the side but she's not able to really do that another drogue uh, for the life raft we've got some um, water in there Here's a, a, yeah, another tin opener some more rations we have the emergency chocolate here which is looking a bit close to well we might have to swap that out or something a bit more uh, up to date um, some more light sticks uh, we have some um, mixed up some raisins, again, good energy source. I um, hope this is not making you feel seasick watching this. Some, these are high energy bars in blocks. Um, here's a water maker. Catadine, it um, actually came off um, the second hand. You can get them off the um, offshore oil rig lifeboats when they're decommissioned they often have one or more of these on board you can get cheaper on ebay but you do have to then change all the filters and pickle them with i think it's alcohol you have to put into them to clean them and that was just all ready to go to make water if we ever needed it we were advised to carry a pair of goggles so that the person on watch can look out uh, without salt spray getting in their eyes a couple of um, safety gloves for flares um, and the water as I've shown you I won't take that out um, more first aid kit stuff in the bottom of here yet yeah, more food we have a we have a so this is a useful thing this is a solar charger for your phone so you can put that outside and there's a little plug and you can get adapters for them as well um, and that will charge your phone so that you can get a GPS signal off it and know where you are which is important when you're in the life raft we have, um, this is uh, a spare um, it's actually for fixing leaks in the life raft if we ever had a problem this is some plastic bags to keep any refuse uh, on the boat, keep that separate. And we have a piece of rope in here just to tie things on. It could be of use to, for something on the boat, on the life raft. Yeah. We have a few biscuits. We have a few biscuits, keep your crew morale up. Another towel, so we've got two towels there. We've got water, as we said. We also in here have very important things we have a toilet paper and more biscuits toilet paper is very important that's probably not enough for us actually probably have a little bit more and then more of these sacks at the bottom here uh, we have some flares and we have some duct tape which might be useful for repairing the fabric on the top of the life raft um, and then we have in the side pockets here i won't get them all up spare bulbs the torches um, first aid sticky bandages I think we've got um, I think we have some earplugs so it could be noisy in there difficult to get to sleep we have a multi-tool knife if we needed to do anything there on the boat yeah and so that's on some suntan lotion as well no it's actually protection 30 altar to keep the sun from burning you to a frizzle so that's the contents of our grab bag. Be interested to hear what other people, extra things people have in them. Um, just goes to show you how much stuff you need to carry. And this is not a cheap exercise to do to fill a grab bag or to get your boat ready for crossing an ocean. 
um, not cheap at all. Don't uh, underestimate how much it does cost. A couple of things I nearly forgot. Seasickness tablets have in there. We also have a little signalling mirror just to flash in the sunlight if it's needed. Have a spare electric uh, sea power activated uh, flashlight. And this black thing is actually a sh set of shot glasses um, to measure out small quantities of water if you really get down to the dregs of your water supplies. I bought it on eBay. I thought there were bigger glasses than that, but they'll still serve the purpose. You can have two cups of water rather than one giant cup. So it goes with this, which is a GPS uh, mobile, for, uh, mobile uh, handset, BHF, and it gives you a satellite uh, GPS position. And you also need to take uh, some local currency and a credit card which I've got in there that goes with us as well together with the passport copies of the passports and sealed in plastic. Oh the only other thing is the drogue we've got a, we have a a drogue for control of speed but we also use we use that as a temporary steering method so we have a C brake. Yeah. And we've had that out and set it up on the pontoon. I can show you a photo of that if you're interested. Uh, with like, two lots of... I still see you. Okay, well that's fine then. So we have a sea brake. So we set that up on the deck. I think it's got two 70 meter lines, plus a bridle, yeah. plus chain. And we've also got... Um, There's 300 feet odd feet, 300 I think. foot line. Something like that. And then behind that, we've also got a retrieval boy that goes on a little pennant. So, um, I'm glad you've checked it all out. That's the most important. Is following the processes through. We've never actually had it together, so we needed to figure. We needed out. to know what we we're and doing. And it's now yeah. labelled, so we know we've got which one's got the bridle in it. And there's, there's two quite heavy bags to manoeuvre to get the line out. So we're I missing hope, hope never to have to deploy it. I hope so too. <laughs> Are we missing anything? You're not allowed to enter out conditions like that. No. Do you, do you have a water maker on board? Yes. We have a water maker, yes, which is hidden under here. Well, you can see that that's the... Controls. Oh, wait a minute. That's not going to work, is it? It's going to have to be the other way around. So that's the water. So we have a desolator water maker, which sits under here. It lives in there. Yeah, yeah. Slow down. We have uh, safety equipment um, list here on the wall of it, where everything is. Brilliant. So, so are we missing anything? Um, it, I can't show you any electronics working, but um, we obviously have VHF. We have cockpit VHF because there's a, a Bluetooth handset. Yeah. We have SSB and um, packed a modem but we also Starlink. have Starlink which is probably our main method of communication at the moment yeah no I like Starlink a lot yeah we do but apart from the price of it it's, re it's really good <laughs> it's the cost of communications is frightening these days it is yeah yeah absolutely so, frightening and you can see the nav table is Nice and clear with all our charts on it, ready to go. <laughs> Not. Yeah. And we do have a lot of charts. You do have a lot of charts. Uh, we also yeah, have. Good to see, though. Oh, I like charts. We also have an Iris Iridium Go, yeah. which, which we have not set up yet, but we're about to. Well, now we've got the mast up. Once we've got the mast up, we can do stuff like that. Um, but we haven't been. Yeah, it's. No, the Iridium Go, that's a portable one, I assume. You could take that into the life raft. Yes, we could do. And uh, it's our emergency more than anything else. Emergency comm yeah. for weather and things. Um, yeah, and I mean, that's the only disadvantage of Starlink. It's not portable. No. If I, could, if I could, I'd take it on the life raft with us. <laughs> but it would need a, a, a another, another um, rib behind us with the generator on it to... Uh, of any use. Okay, and next to your through holes, you've got wooden bungs. 
Yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. everyone's we got do, one. We do. We do on all of them. Yeah, I've checked that recently. So when when we came back in the water. So. Okay. okay, just going back to the grab bag before you finally depart, you'll make a final minute ditch bag with credit cards, passports, and things like that. Yeah, we will. Yeah, yeah, and that'll that'll live probably in the grab bag. Or we'll take. I think what we'll do is we'll take uh, photos of those, print them, and then yeah. plastic wrap them and take those yeah. in the grab and have yeah. those in the grab bag. Yeah, as my thought is, if you've got a credit card, the world is your oyster. It's not a problem. Yeah. Okay, I can't. Okay. If we go, I think I've, we've done very well. Um, going back to um, medical kits and things like that, right. people's health, you've spoken to the other two crew members about any additional medication. Yep. We have, yeah. Um, we all have little no, bits of. We all have little bits of uh, Mary's video in me doing this, so uh, for our little YouTube. So, um, yeah, we've spoken to them about medication. They're bringing what they need, and we've got um, the medic will be a first aid trained. Uh, he's an instructor with the RWA, so he'll be coming with us. Um, and I, I, I'm a lapsed instructor with the RWA as well, um, oh, senior good. instructor. So we've both had, although my, my uh, first aid is not up to date at the moment, but it's 2022, it was it lapsed. Uh, been, so you're still up to date with the basics, don't yes. worry about that. And we have a manual over there. In fact, we have two, I think. Um, yeah. First with the first okay, aid kit. let's go to the ocean side of the first aid kit. Right. Do you have any antibiotics or moderate painkillers on we, board? Do we you? have one uh, course of antibiotics on board. And we have, I have, what's it called, the painkiller I use? You you have, um, what have you got? <laughs> God, I can't that's, think that's, of names. I'm useless at names. Morph you, have, you have oral I, morphine. I've got some oral morphine, I have, yeah. Um, what else have we got? And paracetamols and the, the lower level ones, yeah. yeah. Well, when you get together and you're all there, if you, I would consider getting some more general spectrum antibiotics and things like that. You've got a good burns kit. Yeah, we do. Which is essential. But think about the things that, you know, where you don't have access to a doctor for a week or something. If you had a tooth abscess, you need antibiotics. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, can, um, can you buy those in the UK if you, if you prove that you're a, a, a skipper of a yacht? If you talk to your, do you have a local GP you can talk no, to? No, miles they're, from they're, home. Well, they're in Inverness, so that... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, then probably the best thing is when you're in Las Palmas, yeah. we have a pharmacy there, and they're used to supplying um, equipment and the suitable medicines for our boats. You just have to take your ship's papers, right? and they will give you advice there. But I know World Cruising will be running some advanced um, talks and seminars on first aid. Okay. I wouldn't advise you to turn the boat into a hospital, <coughs> but to just update what you've got on board a bit more than just the coastal sailing. Right. Okay. Okay. We'll do that. I, we're actually. I was actually thinking because I think in Spain and Portugal it's a bit easier to get uh, antibiotics and things for the boat. And, and higher it level painkillers. It's, um, it's not as straightforward as it used to be. A few years ago, you could buy antibiotics. Right. Now you have to have a doctor's prescription. But you can do that, as I say, in Les Palmas with the ship's papers, which makes life a lot easier. Right, okay. All right. Uh, okay. And they will give you good advice as well. But listen to some of the seminars. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Like that. Well, we're going to try and get there a little bit earlier. So I think 15th. we're going to be there on the 15th. Uh, so that we have a bit more time to absorb some of the um, advice that's available. Yeah, it's ob obviously, you know, the <laughs> the show will arrive when the office opens <laughs> there, but um, we will be there in plenty of time. Cool.
And I'm just looking through my automated list here. I don't think there's anything else on my list. Good. Or, no, you've got a fire stick, which I like. Um, <laughs> do they have an expiry? So, do they have an expiry date on them? Uh, the fire sticks are valid for 15 years. Oh, okay, oh so we're well into it. Yeah. I wouldn't actually mind getting another couple because we're they're, they're kind of things that you could grab quickly and they don't make a mess yeah. after the fire either. That's what I liked about them. I think they're absolutely brilliant. Have they been credited yet? But uh, they're not officially no. accredited, are they? No. no. No, so you've still got to have some basic fire extinguishers and I think it's going to be a very long time before... Um, institutions accept them. It's just the nature of yeah. regulation, unfortunately. It's a shame. Yeah, but I think having them on board, because I talked to the guy at the boat show, um, and that's yeah. where we bought them actually in the end. And he said, uh, he showed us a couple of videos, and I've watched a couple on YouTube and things. And I was quite impressed, I must admit. I think they're the, the future. Yeah, no, I'm absolutely sold on them. But so. The only requirement that I've got is put some re retro tape on your life-saving yep. equipment in the we cockpit. Yeah, do that. Yep. Yep. Um, that's about all I've got, and it's advice to upgrade your medical um, kit. offshore medical kit. Okay. Yeah, I've got I've got one set of antibiotics, but actually they're they're. Um, they're actually I've used them, but I'm actually slightly allergic to them because I think they're pen penicillin based. Um, Don't get some non. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I carry amoxicillin as my first. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's course, a good one. But if you're uh, allergic to penicillin, not the best thing to take. No, no, I have to take them and then take an anti uh, an antihistamine with them. It's, it's bizarre, but yeah. that works for me. I think we need to cover both bases. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I think we'll get enough to do both of them. Because it's it's the sort of thing if you just get an infection, at least you can. Some treat work it. and some don't. Depends on you. Yeah. Yeah. Makeup. Yeah. Yeah, but that'll be good if we can get that in Las Palmas. That'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is there anything else I can help you with, or you want to ask me today? Other than flare, uh, old flares. Uh, that was okay. I don't think there was anything else. I don't think so. I thought the manual was pretty specific on what you were looking for. Uh, other than yeah. other than all the gear we now have to carry in the grab bag and the weight of it is now becoming <laughs> an issue. <laughs> I have to bite my tongue here and say, just take what's that. You need water. Yeah, we've got water. You're not going to starve to death. The food is for luxury. Yeah. And Water's you've your basic. got your um, power bank um, and things like that. So you've got like, I mean, Omni R Plus. If the worst happens, you're unlikely to be in the life raft for any length of time. Yeah. Um, and you've got good communication, so that's no problem at all. We have a secondary nav system, so we've got um, sextant, and I'm, I'm actually doing my ocean yacht master at the moment, I'm about halfway through. So, um, uh, so looking forward to using the sextant for real. And make sure you do, though. It's yeah. It's so easy. On the, the passage goes very quickly, and you need to get it out and take the sights, even if you don't reduce them on passage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can record your GPS position and then see see how, how close you've you got. improved during the the voyage. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it's a good idea to do. Um, we've got that many electronic systems of of getting position oh. now that it seems a shame to lose the old skills. And we've got backup on iPads and I. Phones yeah, we've got things, iPads so. and I, yeah, iPhones and everything. Yeah, but you've always got to think if you're struck by lightning, it can take your entire electrics and electronics out. That's true. True. Yeah. Yeah. I quite, I so quite what like. What sort of sextant have you got? Oh, it's just a, it's just a plastic uh, job, but it's the. Davis um, twenty five, I think it is. Mark 25. Yeah, no, the Davis is a very good. They uh, they were using them on the. Sorry, I'll just turn myself around. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's a Davis 25. Got some yeah. light shining on it. And it's yeah, it's good. I've uh, I've played around with it quite a bit. Um, uh, we have all the reduction tables and stuff like that for it. Yeah. 
so it's cool. So there's you, there's our naughty the there's our naughty box for the flares that we we can't get rid of. <laughs> Now, all I can advise you as well is download an app for reducing your size as well. I have that on my, on my phone and on my... Uh, so I can cheat and check my answers when I'm uh, doing them. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not cheating. That's practical saving. Yeah. Yeah, it could be, yeah. Uh, cool. So will we see you in Las Palmas? Are you going down there or...? Yeah, no, I'll be there for the duration, so I'll come and say hello down there. Okay, great. There'll be a short onboard inspection, obviously. Right, that's fine. Uh, and that's assuming you've managed to put all your boat back together again. <laughs> it's in its normal, immaculate state. It will well, be. <laughs> we've got to do the, the, the worst part is this bit because it's just everywhere. Yeah. You know, it, it's uh, it's the heart of the boat, and unfortunately, everything has to come out to get it fixed. And plus, we've had our mast down, so. All the electrics for the mast is out, but the, the guys have uh, put new rigging on, which we're a bit more confident with now. The old rigging was a little bit suspect and, and getting old, so. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right to do that. No, that's perfect. As I say, I'll send you an email. Okay. Um, and it's basically just that reflective tape and recommendation to upgrade your offshore kit i don't think there was anything else that came through no just the first aid kit and, but if you have any questions of course you can come back to me directly okay cool. um, or go through the normal world cruising channels all right but i must compliment you on the preparation of your boat okay. uh, <laughs> thank you very much well, you mean even in, even in all this chaos <laughs> Please take that as a, a compliment. You get a gold star for the effort there. Thank All you. Right. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Well, nice talk to you, Neil. We'll look forward to seeing you. You will. You'll see me in this papers. Have a fun and safe passage then. Will do. Yeah. Okay. Thanks very much then. Bye for now. All the best to you and Mary. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Well, that was a bit long, but um, hopefully you found it informative. It's um, aimed at you if you were planning on crossing an ocean, either on your own or with an organised rally. So do you really need all that stuff that we've shown you in the grab bag? Well, probably not, but it is an insurance uh, if you're going on a long voyage, a long ocean passage. Um, you just never know what you're going to need. And the situation you find yourself can be very different from the theory, theoretical situation when you abandon ship. So yes, I think it's useful. I think it's good from an insurance point of view. I think it's good from the point of view of having everything in one place so you're not looking around if things, something does go wrong. Safety gear is important. Um, so give some thought, you know, before you plan a, a passage on what you would like in your safety package in your grab bag. Um, don't leave it too late. You find yourself in the life raft and wondering, I wonder if I put that in. Uh, you want to have everything in one place that you can throw in there and be confident it'll save your life uh, if you got into that situation. So if you haven't packed it, uh, there are no chandleries in the middle of the Atlantic or the Pacific where you can go and buy these things. So you need to make sure you've got it in there for peace of mind. So till the next time, fair winds and following seas. Bye. Bye. <laughs>